Marcus Jones looks at one gift that may be fun to give, but is difficult to receive and to care for, pets. Greyhounds. They're bred to run, and at racetracks like Wonderland and Revere, that's what they do. If they're good, they race a lot. The ones who aren't so good face deadly consequences. Every year, thousands of greyhound dogs are killed or starved to death because they're too slow or too old to win at the races. For these animals, the winter months are the least merciful time of the year. We're not upset at the industry for running dogs, but there should be a provision for them after they're able to make money. That's the, that's the difficulty. There's no provision for greyhounds after their useful running life is up. And at age three or four, that's the age when most greyhounds are killed or disposed of. Deborah and Dawson Rudder, owners of Commonwealth Limousine Service of Boston, are part of a movement that encourages people to adopt greyhounds as pets. And it's very important at this time of year that people, uh, if they want a dog, get a greyhound because the tracks are slowing down and closing up and this is the time when a lot of animals are killed. Late this afternoon, the Rudders loaded up one of their stretch limousines with greyhounds bound for a new home in Portland, Maine. Actually, only two of the dogs who came decked in holiday attire have homes to go to. The rest were just close friends along for the ride. They love it. I don't think they're used to it. I mean, the odds of having a greyhound go to a new home in a stretch limousine <laughs> are about the same as a normal person winning a lottery. Really? So this is an ultimate <laughs> dream for them. But while adopting greyhounds may be the noble thing to do, the folks at the Massachusetts Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals warn people who are considering getting or giving a pet to think seriously about the long term. We always tell people in our adoption process that you need to remember that you're not getting this cute little kitty and enjoying her for just a couple of weeks, that indeed you need to know that for the next 15 years this life, this living being is going to be dependent on you and you need to be sure that for the next 15 years you're prepared for that commitment both in terms of providing care, attention and love as well as, as we mentioned, some financial commitment as well. But for the people urging the adoption of greyhounds, time is of the essence. This is the killing season, and hopes that the state legislature would act quickly on this bill, providing for alternative placement of the dogs, are fading fast. These dogs not only did not get put to sleep, but they got to ride to Maine in a limousine, which is uh, highly unusual. So they're real lucky dogs. For the 10 o'clock news, I'm Marcus Jones.